yeah, yeah, yeah. She works here though. That's all they do all day, right? Look at look at booty. Look at booty. Walk by. All day. Either she ratchet or or, or she the what you call it? Uh, top notch? No. No. What's your word that you use? Quality. You Something that quality. Quality. Either they ratchet or either they quality. Or either they quality. 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 Charlotte, North Carolina, the Queen City, has just met the Kings. You're looking at barbershops in North Carolina, it's no Greece. And these guys are definitely strong. Everyone knows exactly who they are. They've made quite a name for themselves. We have No Grease Exclusive in Uptown Charlotte. No Grease Mosaic near John C. Smith University. We got Concord Mills, No Grease, and then we have Park West Barber College. That's the uh, No Grease Enterprise. It really changed the face of business when it came to the hair. Um, yeah, and so everyone had to step up their game. This is singing awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Damien Johnson. I'm the firstborn of the twins duet, and I'm the thinker, I'm the mover, I'm the shaker, I'm the businessman, I'm that cool dude that you never see coming, but when I come, I come hard and I come correct. That's me. And I am Jermaine Johnson, the better looking half of the twins. I am artistic, politically incorrect asshole. I can listen to people's bullshit. I can listen to all they BS. And I sit there and listen to them and I say, oh, oh really? Oh, shut the, shut up, n Sit down, do what you're supposed to do, do it. I'm the poetic tongue that you you hear and you see when you think of no grease. One God, one peace, no, no grease. grease. The time in the 80s, we used to always say, yo, no grease in your hair when you come get your hair cut by me. Somebody said, yo, this name was shot called No Grease. I think it was me. If he heard it, he heard it from me. No, see, yeah, 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 he heard it in the spirit. So we know, no grease in me. Like, it don't even make no sense. I was down there working on it, and I told him. <laughs> we have these big, strong personalities. It's a fight every day in work. So oh, we have, man. We, oh, I mean, yeah. we argue like, we argue like strangers. If people in a room with us, you wouldn't believe we were twins. As identical twins, you will never find two people that are so alike and so different at the same time. One's laid back and one's a beast. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a disbeliever in people. Like, Damien is a believer. So if we had to, if we had to break it down, he's Martin Luther King. I'm out next. <laughs> uh, this barber is very hard headed. What you mean? I'm the <laughs> man told you to take take it off. Can you tell me to take it off? Let me say it go. Whoa. Yeah, take it. Okay, that means take it off. <laughs> I mean, that's what that means. So it's right before, you know, above the wave, before the front. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Above the wave. Still gonna look good, man. Still gonna look good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Yeah. His words to me were when I first got working on here is, you ain't shit, and I'll take all your clients away from you if I was cutting next to you. That's what he told me. Our first week here. That they have this look. Him and his brother had this facial expression. It kind of tells you to just leave me alone. I don't want to see that look. I enjoy making the bosses upset a little bit. Folks better learn. I ain't getting in business to be your friend. The school has so many different personalities in it. I almost got 100 students at the school. You know, I'm like the principal, so I get to listen. And so I'm dealing with a broken people. All these guys need to make up their hours, so I'm about to chew their ass out right now. Send it to me. I sent it to Mr. J. It's on the test. Just send it to me again. Send it to me. Just send it to me again. You probably know these five questions. What's the five questions? Did you send me anything, though? <laughs> oh, my notebook's right here, Mr. J. Oh, yeah. Did you do assignment one? I didn't do assignment one. These people are broken. Hey, come on. Where you her that? Friday night, they don't come to school, man. Where everybody at? Beat it. Yeah, whatever. All this to get a barber license. I can't wait till I get you on the floor good looking. Hey, going out so hot just like you love it. I like the reaction of other people when I speak my mind and they don't think I was supposed to say that and I say it anyway. The other guy that shot would definitely use the word. Asshole. <laughs> That'd be my word. My name is Lakeisha. And I am the female barber of the house. 
Keisha. She loves attention. She know how to take it around with it, you know what I'm saying? So she talk with me like she's my brother or something. She a beautiful female. My name is Steve Williams, AKA Steve's a Weasel. I actually used to make records back in the days. I used to dance for um, the famous rap group EPMD. I'm the guy in the yellow suit doing the Steve Martin dance. I made up a dance that went worldwide. When we ain't make no money, you know? So that's why I'm still working. <laughs> you expect anything out of me. I might start dancing, I might start DJing in the booth. I'm the energy bunny in here. Oh, oh, can't okay, forget about the white boy. It's white boy Joe. Joseph Daniel Simmons, AKA King Taco. And we in the car, we get pulled over, they say, they got a call, we get out, he stays in. That's how it go. That's about it though. Other than that, I just sweep. Our receptionist, Miss Harriet. Bro, I can hold my own against all of them. Any day, any time. And they know that. So they pick and choose what they say to me. We just got Miss Thing. We never know. <laughs> Miss Thing. Dominique Dukes, I'm the foreman of this. This here game right here, that's me. I don't talk fast, people just be listening slow. He's unpredictable, you know, you never know what he's gonna do. Neek is the one that stole my car. He is a prankster. I'm David Ruffin, and these are the and temptations. temptations, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely a man cave, the barbershop. Being around a bunch of men, you hear a lot, you learn a lot as a lady. We know things that wives wish they did know about their men. I think the clients is the worst though. They be off the chain. You wanna give you my phone number? They be married and everything. I be like, oh, I know you want hey, your wife coming through trying to jump on me at work. Sometimes I have to tell them, control yourself, hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> now look, she don't sweep no other time. I gotta do work. She don't sweep no other time. The battle between the men and the women, the men think they know everything like they all, like all men do. Yeah. Oh, goodness, yes. They pick on me. No, no, I'm not standing behind your back. I can't stand her. She getting on my nerves, really. Ew, 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 ew. Yeah. Eat my hair. Do not eat my hair. I would love to have another female barber in here if that was the case, but you know, I don't even need another female barber. I'm that female barber, but this female right here, the receptionist, that's my second girl I go to for the second opinion. So they can hear it. They don't believe it from me. But when they hear from two of them, they're like, well, well, it ain't how it goes, but if you say so. Type thing. So they don't listen. Men do not listen. They think they know it all, no matter what this one woman say. All they do is cut hair. They, they, so, they so naive, you can't tell them that. You never know what's going to happen. Like At any what? given time, you know? You know, even if we ain't cut hair, we having fun. You know, we're, we're family, so we hang out, we go out and party together every once in a while. I'm always talking about they don't know where the good men at. Come to our functions and you'll find a good man. Yeah, we ain't, you ain't going to find no husband. There'll be a man there for you. We are Jermaine and Damien's wives. Candace and Shatina. You know, we really see the real deal, so we gotta kind of bring it really back in. Like, I understand you are a businessman, everybody knows your name, and you're popular, and all this and that, but um, I still need you to stop the game. I still need mm -hmm. you home at a certain time. Yeah, I'm late, man. This is the life of a barber. Saturdays, you know, we gotta cut ahead, gotta go to soccer games. You know, trying to wear all these hats. This is fake right here. <laughs> you're so wonderful. This is the camera. Oh, yay. <laughs> Oh, oh. I want to give her the middle finger right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it took for me to get here. Oh. So she's going to be a barber. If you know the twins, you know they married. Yeah. Point blank. They not single. They ain't been single. Everybody know that. Every now and again, you'll have some people that will cross boundaries and, you know, do a little flirt in America, which you don't want to do is get checked by us. You know, I might have to pull you to the side. Uh, Ma'am, you called my husband uh, the other night. Okay, okay. okay. Hey, I'm gonna need you to uh, never let that happen again. I, I have some hood rat tendencies, so <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't think our husbands really understand what we deal with. They don't. Yeah, they have no clue what we deal with. Half the stuff they don't even know. Yeah, and we don't tell them. You didn't have like, some great guru showing us how to be men. You know, we was just living life and trying to figure out how to be men, 
how to be businessmen, how to be mentors, how to be husbands, how to be fathers. 16 years later in business, 14 years later being married, 10 years later being married, yeah. this is what you get. It's a lifetime goal. It's like, it's, it may take another 20, 30 years, but I ain't got nothing else to do. I ain't about to get no job. So, you know, this is what I'm gonna be doing. So, you know, just know that I'm gonna be trying to open up a barber shop in your city. If it could be this year, it could be next year, it doesn't matter because I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm not getting a job. It's more than a haircut. It's more than a haircut. Character, discipline, everything that's good about America, that's what's in here. We are the American dream. Damn, you know what? You should put that on a t-shirt.